Hey YouTube, it's been a while. This is usually the part where we uh, apologize for not putting out a video for so long and talk about how busy we were, but the truth is we're not sorry. <laughs> it's just the way it's gonna go and uh, we're gonna make videos when we get time and hopefully you guys will enjoy them and they'll still be around when we get through them all. First quick thing we want to mention is that we are a part of the OK Tiny House bundle again this year and it's just a bundle of different tiny house resources including plans and our SketchUp tutorial and it's 94% off the total value. So for more details follow the link in the card and if you are interested in it make sure to jump on it because it's uh, one week only ending this coming Saturday so we're already a few days into the sale. So as you saw in our previous update video with our kitchen design, we had talked about maybe putting the sink on an angle in the corner and we were on the hunt for a farmhouse sink that was reasonably priced. We wanted it to be white, but that proved pretty much impossible for us to find. So the big news is that we ended up buying a sink and it is a farmhouse sink, but it's stainless steel, which wasn't our first choice, but it was just way cheaper. So we ended up going with that. And if you want to check out which sink we got, there's a link to it in this description. The sink is quite large and we did intend it to be really big because we don't plan on having a dishwasher and we kind of just want to be able to throw everything in the sink and wash pots and stuff like that. So it is very large, but now that we have the sink and we were able to get accurate measurements from it, Jake was able to model our kitchen using those measurements in SketchUp and this is what it looks like. So because we have a lot of things to work around, like the water heater, some plumbing, and the furnace, we've decided to frame a skeleton instead of building traditional cabinets. We are also doing that because the farmhouse sink needs to be supported from below. You'll notice that there aren't any drawers, and that's because we decided to go with the overhang countertop. So we'll just have cabinet doors that open up into a cavity and we'll add shelves as needed. The things that you would normally store in drawers, we have some ideas on how to store them in other places and on shelves. And lastly, having the sink on an angle will allow us to walk right up to it and there's space behind in the corner for the faucet and the sink won't be taking up a lot of our valuable counter space. So as you can see, we've cleared this all out. We're getting real close to being able to start building the kitchen. And while we were at it, we also did a whole nother pass of downsizing of our belongings. We were occupying a, a room still in the main house. Uh, so we've gotten completely out of there, donated a bunch of stuff, got rid of a bunch of stuff. So now all of our belongings are either in some tubs in the garage or in the tiny house, uh, which is just another small milestone to being completely independent um, and living fully tiny. Uh, and while we were at that, we kind of cleaned up in here as well. and did some really simple things like we put up some hooks because this is where the our coat closet is going to be um, and are hanging up our jackets there which up until now like for months that we've been living in here temporarily have just been in a pile on the ground in uh, the unfinished shower and it's surprising how much of a perceived difference something as simple as this makes just for a day-to-day -day life and we felt that too when we first put in the fridge and got the toaster oven going and um, it's making us realize that we have been living in uh, like stasis here in a temporary situation for for a long time and we're starting to get re-motivated um, to finish this kitchen now that we're kind of ready to do it and thinking about how um, we're gonna have everything we need once we finally get it finished uh, and it's going to be awesome. First quick thing is we're a part of this super f***ing lit tiny house bundle. <laughs> That's a good one. That was good. Should I do more? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did that look cool? <laughs> I feel so stupid now. I feel like you're going to use this against me.